Hello and welcome to Symmetry Solutions. This is our sim blog. So this is Rolled Sheet Metal and I'm your instructor Jonathan Weiss. What we're actually going to be going through today are how to build a sheet metal part. So rolled sheet metal. We're going to set up that sheet metal part. Use a based flange tab option. We'll talk about some tips in the process, you know, things that you would do to manipulate and update your sketch. And then we'll flatten that component, bring it into our drawing. As we bring it into the drawing, we'll talk about layout, how we'd create that. And then there's a, an, an issue with the positioning, the way that it flattens in space inside our model. So we'll talk about adjusting or flattening the part, the uh, adjusting the position of the flattened part. So let's begin. I'm going to open up SOLIDWORKS and start a new part file. I'm going to open that up and create it in inches. As I open up my model, we'll just go up to our sketch tools and select sketch. I'm going to sketch on that front plane. And we'll use just a simple circle. So I'm going to expand that out and give it a dimension of 36 inches. Now you'll notice that my dimension was placed inside the context of the sketch diameter. If I want to change that, I just right click on the dimension, come down to display options, adjustments, and I'd say set that to outside. And you can switch it back if, if that's something that you'd like to do. You just right click and go into those options. Another thing I do is come in and adjust my document units. So this is going to display the accuracy. So I went from three decimals down to one. And again, that's just under the property for the dimension. The next thing we need to do is actually add a split. And we add a split. We can find that through tools, sketch tools, and then split entities. Or another way to find it is come up, type into your command search, and you'll notice the little eyeglasses. If we click on the eyeglasses, it'll give you a nice hover over and it'll show us even where it is with a red arrow. So we can select split entities from that option. I'm going to select that. And then come in and split the entities and then I'll add a dimension um, after I trim out that section. And we'll just come back in and add a dimension. I'm going to create a very small gap. So this is going to look like a totally rolled part. Remember the outer diameter is actually 36 inches which is large. But as we come in we'll add a gap of just 0.1. So pretty small relative to the overall diameter. Is it a cheat? A little bit, but in order for it to be rolled, we need we do need a split in there. You could make that split really, really small. I've gone down as far as uh, 0 0.001, just trying to simulate that gap. Well, we've got that gap added. We can come into Sheet Metal, and we'll say base flange tab and I need to update my values here I was trying some other tests here but I'm actually going to create a thickness of just a quarter inch thick wall and then we'll extrude this out to a length of oh, let's just say 50 50 inches so come into that direction one we'll say 50 inches we'll make it a pretty large a little bit larger than the diameter we'll say okay and as that's accepted, now I can come into my sheet metal and hit flatten. So you see where the cursor was flashing? And we'll come in, hit flatten. I'm just quickly going to save that part because I want to use it in a drawing. So saved it. And now we'll say insert drawing and drop these views into our drawing. As I add the views into the drawing, we can populate with the flatten view and then add in an isometric view as well. So I'm going to change that isometric view to add color and then I'll change it to high quality so we get the detail that we want to see and if I zoom in you'll be able to see the amount of rotation so it's rolled all the way up 359 point some odd degrees the important thing is we're made a circle and it's got a small gap that we could come in and weld together if we needed to now the way to manipulate this position the way that it's laid out is come in add a small construction line It'll go from one of the points, so I just select uh, one of my endpoints, move my dimension out of the way so I can select it. 
and you can see me rotate it in space. No way to lock that down. So we'll come in and add a uh, construction a center line. So construction center line. I'm going to bring that down to the origin. And then I'll set a vertical relation on that line in order to manipulate the position of the gap vertically. You can do that symmetrically however you like. I'm just zooming in to show that the gap is now controlled and when I accept it we now have our sheet metal part and it flattens in space and when we look at a front view of it see that it's totally horizontal. Now you'll notice that it's it's raised off the origin that's because it's unfolding about the uh, face of the uh, cut. I'll flip back to the drawing, just demonstrate that the drawing was in. And that completes our lesson on rolled sheet metal. Again, I'm Jonathan Wise. This is Symmetry Solutions SimBlog. And if you have any questions, please contact us. Send us an email and give us a call. We'd be glad to talk about any questions that you have. And uh, again, just to review things that we went through today. We talked about setup, uh, the sheet metal part, and use the base flange tab, some tips, flattening the drawing and then how to reposition. Thanks so much. Have a great day.